Hi there, Homestead. It's Elizabeth from Community, and today I'm going to walk you through how to add and edit text in your Website Builder site. So to begin, let's log into Website Builder. And once your site loads, you'll click on the Elements option in the top left-hand corner, and then choose Text from the Category list on the left. Once you select text, it'll bring the text box options up to the top. And at this point, you need to choose which option is best for the text you're adding to your site. If you're adding a title to your page, then you would use the H1 or heading one text box that's available. You should only ever have one H1 per page. So make sure to use it for the title of your page and nothing else. This is important for search engine ranking and the overall look of your page. Um, the H2 or heading 2 text box should be a subheading or a subtitle to the H1 box. This is going to give a little bit more detail as to what the page is about, a little bit more of a description on the title. Same goes for the H3. This is a subheading to the H2 box and should give more detail than the previous heading. Any other content that you add to your website should be done under the paragraph text box. This is going to be the bulk of the content, any call to action, or anything else that you add to your site will be a paragraph text box, even if you're not going to write a paragraph in it. So those are the four types of text boxes. To add one, simply click on your option, and it's going to attach a text box to your mouse. So move your mouse around to where you want to place this text box and left click to attach it to the page. At this point, you're going to see the menu up above the text box here that's going to give you your main options for editing this text. If you want to edit the actual content, you can click into the box until you see this blinking cursor. You usually will have to double click to get this. When you see the blinking cursor, you can delete the content. You can also highlight all of the content and delete it to make it quicker. And then type your own content. To edit the style of this text, you first need to highlight what you want to edit. And then you can choose a different font, a different font size. You can center your text in the text box, and then you can do all the different accents, like make it bold, italic, or underlined, or stretch through. So you can add those sort of stylized aspects to your text. You can link your text. Uh, additionally, you can change the color of the text and give it a highlight if you'd like to. You can add shadow. So you just need to go through and see the different options that are available, you know, adding animations. Um, you can bring it forward and send it backwards on the page if you need it to show up in relation to other elements a certain way. You can duplicate a text box, you can delete it, and then there's the option for more options. And this gives you a little bit more advanced, like docking, uh, adding a background image, changing the box color. So you can hover your mouse over each option, each little icon, and see what it's for. So I definitely recommend you go through and you know see the different options that are available for you. And this menu that appears does not even have the full range of options available for your text boxes. If you click Advanced at the end, it'll bring up another menu in which you can go into Settings. You can add a behavior. Um, you can do more style options, um, changing the background border, adding a border width, and you can also change how opaque this box is. You can add a shadow. These are all just styles, you know, to get your website to look a certain way. So use them how you want it to get the look that you're going for with your site. Um, you can change the size and position of the text box. Here, the docking options that are here are here as well. And you can also use this to change the width and height of your text box manually, as well as where it's positioned on the website. 
Um, you can set it to scroll with the page, and you can also set it to show on all pages. So there's different options available. You just have to go through and see what works best for you. And lastly, you can add animations like having it bounce in or fly in, stuff like that. So those are the options available for adding and editing your text box. Just remember, choose the text box that fits best with the type of text you're trying to add to your page, and then use these options to edit it any way you want. Anytime you want to edit the actual text, please remember to highlight it first or those changes will not apply.